Hello everyone! Nice to see you again! And now please welcome back to our English class! So students, I am your English teacher and you can call me Teacher Kwan. Nice to see you everyone! Alright, for today, we are going to have fun together with our wonderful program of Enos and Junior Brows. Oh, are you excited? Yes! Very nice everyone! But before we move to our program, we are going to sing and dance first. Alright now, please stand up, stand up! Let's sing and dance with our first song that we call Hello Song. Alright now, student, let's set up. Rainy. 
Yes. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Great work. Yes, it is. Today it's rainy. Now say with me, everyone. Today it's rainy. Your turn. Today is rainy. Excellent. All right, now let's move to our program student. And that teacher told you for today, we are going to have fun together with part of a notes and junior brow. All right, now let's move to our program. And for today, we are going to have fun together with part of Phoenix One. Phoenix One. Let's move to our program and then let's get started. All right, and for the unit one of Phoenix One, this unit we call cooperation. Oh, student, have you know what does it mean of cooperation? Ah, it's the same thing like a help, being something good to each other like this. And then we are going to find out together with our dialogue from this unit. Oh, do you want to listen to our dialogue? Yes. Now let's listen our dialogue, student. And let let's and let listen carefully. What are they talking about? Now let listen. Ella, could you help me? Sure. What? Take some of these books, please. Oh, okay. Which books? The top ones, I guess. I can't reach them. Okay, any of them, quickly. Um, maybe the ones at the bottom? Oh no, too heavy. Chief, be careful. Oh, thanks for your cooperation, Ella. My pleasure, Chase. I'm glad to help. All right, now it's end up with our dialogue of cooperation. What are they talking about, everyone? So this part of our dialogue, we have Chase and Ella. So they are friends, student. And now Chase, he have holding a lot of book and it's too heavy. And then after that, Ella Chase walking past by, but Chase, he, he asked Ella for help, like, help Ella, could you please help me? And then, of course, to Ella to try to be something good to each other. So, she helped Chase to carry some books. Oh, this was really nice. And then, finally, Chase, he said to Ella, oh, thank you so much, Ella, for your cooperation. And then, Ella, she said, oh, it's my pressure. All right, now it's end up with our dialogue. Oh, two of them, Chase and Ella, they are doing something good together. All right, now let's listen with our dialogue one more time and listen it carefully, everyone. Ella, could you help me? Sure, what? Take some of these books, please. Oh, okay. Which books? The top ones, I guess. I can't reach them. Okay, any of them. Quickly. Um, maybe the ones at the bottom? Oh no, too heavy. Chief, be careful. <laughs> Thanks for your cooperation, Ella. My pleasure, Chase. I'm glad to help. Oh, my pleasure, Chase. I'm glad to help. All right, now it's end up with our dialogue. So, student, after we have listened to this dialogue, can you remember some of words from our dialogue? Yes. Very nice, student. So, this part, we are going to practice more with the vocabularies. So we are going to practice with the new vocabularies. And then let's listen carefully, everyone. Listen. Cooperation. Practice. Exercise. 
develop, diary, essay, ironing, report, finish, homework, reservation, clean, draw, write, lesson, together, cooperation. All right, everyone, after we have listened to our vocabularies, so this part we are going to listen and say with our vocabularies and let's begin with the first one. Oh, let's look at the picture and then this vocabulary is student, listen and say. Cooperation. Say with me, cooperation. Your turn. Cooperation. Very nice, this one is cooperation. Doing something good to each other. And then everyone, this part we are going to spell our vocab. And let's say with me. So, cooperation. It's begin with letter C. C. Double O. Double O. P. P. E. E. e R. R. A. A. T. T. I. I. O. O. N. N. And then cooperation. Your turn. Cooperation. Very nice students. All right, and now we are going to practice more with part of sentence and this sentence is listen everyone. Thanks for your cooperation. Now repeat after me. Thanks for your cooperation. Your turn. Thanks for your cooperation. Very nice. All right, now let's move to the next vocabulary. Oh, look at this part. Practice. And then let's listen to this vocab one more time. Practice. Say with me, practice. Your turn. Practice. Very nice. Now he is practicing with how to play in the soccer. And then we are going to spell out word with practice. So it's begin with P. P. R. R. A. A. C. C. T. T. I. I. C. C. E. E. And then listen and say. Practice. Your turn. Practice. Well done. All right, now let's move to part of sentence and listen carefully. I practice it hard. Say with me, everyone. I practice it hard. Your turn. I practice it hard. Very nice. All right, now let's move to the next part. Listen. Exercise. All right, this word is exercise. Now listen and say. Exercise. Say with me. Exercise. Your turn. Exercise. Good job. Oh, now look at this man. Now he is exercising. And then everyone, let's spell our word. So exercise is begin with letter E. E. X. X. E. E. R. R. C. C. I. I. H. S. E. E. And then Exercise. Your turn. Exercise. Good job. All right, now let's practice more with part of sentence. And our sentence is... I exercise four days a week. Repeat after me. I exercise four days a week. Your turn. I exercise four days a week. Oh, very nice. So, student, are you doing some exercising? Yes. Oh, good for you, helped. And then let's move to the next vocabulary. All right, and this part? Develop. So listen it one more time. Develop. And say with me, develop. Your turn. Develop. Very nice. And then let's spell out a word. So develop is begin with letter D. D. E. E. V. V. E. E. L. L. O. O. P. P. And then 
Develop. Your turn. Develop. Very nice. He is developing. And then let's spell with. Sorry. Let's practice with our sentence. So our sentence is. How can you develop cooperative spirit well? Student, repeat after me. How can you develop cooperative spirit well? Your turn. How can you develop cooperative spirit well? Very nice, everyone. And then let's move to the next vocabulary. Diary. All right, then listen and say with me. Diary. Diary. Your turn. Diary. Good job. And now let's spell our workout. So diary is begin with letter D. D. I. I. A. A. R. R. Y. Y. And then. Diary. Your turn. Diary. Oh, have you ever written diary? Yes. Well done. And then let's practice more with part of sentence. So our sentence is. I write a diary every day. Say with me. I write a diary every day. Your turn. I write a diary every day. Very nice, everyone. All right, now let's move to the next sentence. Essay. All right, now we move to the next vocabulary, and this one is listen. Essay. Say with me. Essay. Your turn. Essay. Good job. And then let's spell our vocab. So essay is begin with letter E. E. Double S. Double S. E A. A. Y. Y. Good job. And then essay. Say with me. Essay. Your turn. Essay. Very nice. All right. Now let's practice with part of sentence. And our sentence is. How can you write an essay? Repeat after me. How can you write an essay? Your turn. How can you write an essay? Very nice, everyone. So now let's move to the next vocab. Look. Ironing. All right, and then listen and say. Ironing. Ironing. Your turn. Ironing. Very nice. This one is ironing. Oh, can you do some ironing? Yes. Oh, good job. All right, now let's spell this vocab. So, ironing is begin with letter I. I. R. R. O. O. N. N. I. I. N. N. G. G. And then? Ironing. Your turn. Ironing. Very nice. So, now let's practice more with our sentence. And this sentence is? Has Helen done the ironing? Repeat after me. Has Helen done the ironing? Your turn. Has Helen done the ironing? Very nice, everyone. All right, now let's move to the next vocabulary. Report. All right, and this one is listen and say. Report. Say with me. Report. Your turn. Report. Very nice. And then let's spell our vocab. So report. It begin with letter R. R. E. E. P. P. O. O. R. R. T. T. And then. Report. Your turn. Report. Excellent. All right. Now let's practice more with our sentence. And this sentence is. Has Amy finished the report? Repeat after me. Has Amy finished the report? Your turn. Has Amy finished the report? Very nice, everyone. And now let's move to the next part. Oh, look at the picture. Finish. All right, this one is now. Listen and say. Finish. Say with me. Finish. Your turn. Finish. Very nice. And then let's spell our vocab. So finish is begin with letter A. F. F. I. I. N. N. I. I. H. S. H. H. And then. Finish. Your turn. Finish. Very nice. And then let s practice more with our sentence. So this sentence is. What time do you usually finish school? Repeat after me. 
What time do you usually finish school? Your turn. What time do you usually finish school? Very nice. So now let's move to the next vocabulary. Listen. Homework. All right, now listen and say. Homework. Say with me. Homework. Your turn. Homework. Good job. And then let's spell this vocab. So homework is begin with letter H. H. O. O. M. M. E. E. W. W. O. O. R. R. K. K. And then homework. Your turn. Homework. Excellent. Then let's practice more with part of sentence. I have finished my homework. Repeat after me. I have finished my homework. Your turn. I have finished my homework. Very nice, everyone. All right, now let's move to the next part. Listen. Reservation. All right, and this vocabulary is, listen it again. Reservation. Then say with me, reservation. Your turn. Reservation. Very nice. Now let's spell our workout. So, reservation. It begins with letter R. R. E. E. S. S. E. E. R. R. V. V. A. A. T. T. I. I. O. O. N. N. And then? Reservation. Your turn. Reservation. Good job. Ah, oh, this one is reservation. And then let's practice with our sentence. And this one is? We already have a reservation for a dinner. Repeat after me. We already have a reservation for a dinner. Your turn. We already have a reservation for a dinner. Excellent. All right, now let's move to the next vocabulary. Listen, everyone. Clean. Clean. Listen it again. Clean. Then say with me. Clean. Your turn. Clean. Well done. Then let's spell our workout. So clean is begin with letter C. C. L. L. E. E. A. A. N. N. And then? Clean. Your turn. Clean. Well done. So now let's practice more with our sentence. Cleaned the kitchen. Repeat after me. Clean the kitchen. Your turn. Clean the kitchen. Very nice. And then let's move to the next vocabulary. Listen. Draw. Oh, look at the girl. And now this vocab is? Draw. Say with me. Draw. Your turn. Draw. Well done. And then let's spell this vocab. So draw is begin with letter D. D. R. R. A. A. W. W. And then listen and say everyone. Draw. Your turn. Draw. Good job. So now let's practice more with our sentence. How can you draw a picture? Say with me. How can you draw a picture? Your turn. How can you draw a picture? Very nice, everyone. And then let's move to the next vocabulary. Oh, listen. Right. Listen it again. Right. Then say with me. Right. Your turn. Right. Good job. Then let's spell our workout. So right is begin with letter W. W. R. R. I. I. T. T. E. E. And then listen and say. Right. Your turn. Right. Well done. All right, now let's move to part of sentence. And this sentence is... I write a report. Repeat after me. I write a report. Your turn. I write a report. Very nice, everyone. And then let's move to the next part. Listen. Listen. All right, now listen and say with me. Lesson. Lesson. Your turn. Lessons. Very nice. So now let's spell this vocab. So lesson is begin with letter L. L. E. E. Double S. Double S. O. O. N. N. Now listen and say. 
lesson. Your turn. Lessons. Well done. And this part, our sentence is... I take a lesson. Repeat after me. I take a lesson. Your turn. I take a lesson. Well done. And then now, student, we move to our large vocabulary of this part. Listen. Together. Then listen and say. Together. Say with me. Together. Your turn. Together. Very nice. And now let's spell our workout. So, together is begin with letter T. T. O. O. D. D. E. E. T. T. H. H. E. E. R. R. Now listen and say. Together. Your turn. Together. Very nice. And then let's practice more with our sentence. They work together. Say with me. They work together. Your turn. They work together. Well done. All right. Now we have practice with part of listen and say of our vocabularies already. Let's move to the next part. So this part we are going to listen and check. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Now. Cooperation. All right, student, this part now is back to you. Let's listen and choose the right picture that match to our vocabulary. Let's begin with the first one. Now, listen carefully. Cooperation. All right, cooperation. Student, which pictures is matched to cooperation? The man over there, oh, he's playing soccer. Is this for cooperation? No, no, it's not. Now he practiced alone. And then, oh, what about this picture? We have a lot of hands over there. Oh, it means they are teamwork. Is this for cooperation? Yes. Yes. All right, then let's check up with this picture. Good job. It's for cooperation. Practice. And then the next one. Oh, listen it again. Practice. Practice, everyone. Which picture is for practice? The group of people over there, are they practicing anything? No. No. What about this man? Oh, now, is he practicing? Yes. Yes, now he practiced to playing the soccer. And then, let's check up with this one. Very nice. This one is for practice. Exercise. And then we move to the next part. Listen it again. Exercise. Exercise. Everyone, who is exercising? The man over there or this picture of the books and laptops? The man's over there. Ah, yes, it would be the picture of the man. Then let's check out. Good job. It's matched to exercise. Develop. And then we move to the next vocabulary. Listen it carefully. Develop. Develop, student. Which picture is matched to develop? Mom and house baby. Or the picture of the man. The picture of the man. All right, then let's find out together with this one. Good job, he is developing. Diary. Oh, and then we move to the next part, student. Listen it carefully. Diary. Diary. Student, diary? Have you seen the diary? Yes. Oh, it looks like a book, right? Yes. And then, which picture? The first or the second? The second picture. Yes, it would be the second picture. Here's the diary. And then, let's check out together. Very nice. Essay. Oh, now we move to the next vocabulary. This one is... Essay. Essay. So, student, essays, it look like a long paragraph. Can you see the paragraph here? Yes. Is this for essay? Yes, it is. Oh, and then let's check up together with this picture. Good job. It's essay. Ironing. And then we move to the next part. Listen it again. Ironing. Ironing. Student, look at the girl. Is she doing the ironing? 
No. no. What about this one? Is he doing some ironing? Yes. Yes, he has a lot of clothes over there. And then let's check out together with this picture. Very nice. Report. All right, now we move to the next one. This one is... Report. Report. Student, which one is for report? Look at this picture. Is this for report? No, it's no, not. No, it's not. Now he's doing something. And then this one. Oh, can you see the paragraph here? Is this report? Yes. Yes, it is. Then let's check out. Good job. And the next part. Finish. Finish. Everyone. Which picture is for finish? The group of people over there? And then, oh, the girl, is she finished? The picture of the girl. Ah, yes. It would be the picture of this girl. Then let's check out. Good job. This one is for finish. Homework. And then this part, everyone, we are going to find out the right picture of homework. Who is doing homework? This one. On the table, is this homework? No, it's not. No, it's not. What about the girl? Is she doing her homework? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Now she is doing her homework. Then let's check out together. Very nice. Reservation. All right, now we move to the next word. Student, this vocabulary is reservation. Oh, can you see the small paper over there? Yes. Yes, this one is for reserve. And is this the reservation? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yes. Very nice. Then let's check out. Good job. This one is for reservation. Clean. And then, oh, we move to the next part. Listen it again. Clean. Clean. Oh, student, which one is for clean? The lady and her baby. Are they cleaning? Yes. Oh, yes. Now they are cleaning the door. And this part, is this match to clean? Yes. Good job. Then let's check out together. Very nice. And then... Draw. Draw. Listen it again. Draw. Draw. So look at the picture. Is this for drawing? No, this one is writing. And what about the girl over there? Is she drawing? Yes. Yes, then let's check up together with draw. Very nice. Right. Right, still then. Now we move to the next part. Let's find out the picture of right. Which one is for right? The first picture over there? Is he writing? Yes. Oh, yes. Then let's check up together. Yes, it is. All right, the next part. Lesson. Oh, lesson. Student, listen it carefully. Lesson. Lesson. Which picture is for lesson? The class over there? Or the picture of the ironing? Which one? The first or the second? The first one. Yes, it would be the first one. Now let's check out. Very nice, students. And now we move to the last vocabulary. Listen it again. Together. Together. Student, which one is for together? The first one over there? Is this for together? No. Oh, what about a group of people here? The second one, is this together? Yes. Yes. All right, then let's check up with this part. Yes, they are doing something together. Very nice, student. All right, now it's cool. end up with part of vocabulary good on you then we move to the next part so this part we are going to practice with our dialogue so listen carefully everyone Ella could you help me sure what take some of these books please All right. oh okay which books? All right, everyone. Then we are going to practice with this dialogue. Begin in, be, let's begin with part of Chase. And he says, Ella, 
Could you help me? Say with me. Ella, could you help me? Your turn. Ella, could you help me? Excellent. And then back to Ella. So she says, Sure. What? Say with me. Sure. What? Your turn. Sure. What? Very nice. And back to Chess again. Take some of these books, please. Repeat after me. Take some of these books, please. Your turn. Take some of these books, please. Very nice. Then back to Ella again. And this time she says, Oh, okay. Which books? Say with me. Oh, okay. Which books? Your turn. Oh, okay. Which books? Very nice. And then the next part of this dialogue. All right, now listen carefully. The top ones, I guess. I can't reach them. Okay, any of them, quickly. Um, maybe the ones at the bottom? All right, now let's practice with this part of our dialogue. We're back to chess again, and this time he says... The top ones, I guess. Repeat after me. The top ones, I guess. Your turn. The top ones, I guess. Then back to Ella. And she says, I can't reach them. Repeat after me. I can't reach them. Your turn. I can reach them. Very nice. And then, oh, now back to Chess. And he says, Okay, any of them, quickly. Repeat after me. Okay, any of them, quickly. Your turn. Okay, any of them, quickly. Good job. Then move to part of Ella. And she says, Um, maybe the ones at the bottom? Repeat after me. Mm, maybe the ones at the bottom? Your turn. Mm, maybe the ones at the bottom? Very nice. All right then, let's move to the next part of this dialogue. All oh right. no, too heavy! Chase, be careful! Oh, thanks for your cooperation, Ella. My pleasure, Chase. I'm glad to help. All right then, let's practice with this part. So now we move to part of Chase and he says... Oh no, too heavy! Repeat after me. Oh no, too heavy. Your turn. Oh no, too heavy. And then back to Ella. And this time, Ella, she says... Chase, be careful! Say with me. Chase, be careful. Your turn. Chase, be careful. Oh, back to Chase. And this time, he says... <laughs> Thanks for your cooperation, Ella. Say with me, student. Thanks for your cooperation, Ella. Your turn. Thanks for your cooperation, Ella. Very nice. Then back to our Ella. So this time she says, My pleasure, Chase. I'm glad to help. Repeat after me. My pleasure, Chase. I'm glad to help. Your turn. My precious shares, I'm glad to help. Oh, very nice, everyone. All right, now we have practice with our dialogue already. Good on you, student. And then, oh, let's move to the next part. So, student, this part, we are going to do our exercise together. So, now, student, please bring your workbook or your exercise beside you. So, on your workbook,
Give me one minute. All right, students, this part of our exercise on part A, we call find these words in the puzzle. Oh, we are going to find the right word and then we are going to fill in on our puzzles over there. And now, oh, look at this one. This one is our tip, student. And now, teacher have a lot of words from this box. So, let's say out the word that we have. So, now we have this one. Say with me, report, your turn. Report. And then the next one, ironing, your turn. Ironing. Good job. Coming up next with diary, your turn. Diary. The next one, essay, your turn. Essay. Good job. And then the next one, exercise, your turn. Exercise. Good job. Move to this one. This one is homework, your turn. Homework. Very nice. And then this one that we have is cooperation, your turn. Cooperation. Good job. Then this one is Practice, your turn. Practice. Well done. And then this one is together, your turn. Together. Very nice. And then the last word that we have is reservation, your turn. Reservation. Excellent, everyone. Then let's find out the right word to fill in our parcel over there. Now we have the parcel with the across line with number 4, 6, 8, and 10. And part of the crossword with the down line with number 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Alright, now let's find out together. And let's begin with part of the across line. So let's begin with number 4. Can you see the crossword number 4? Oh, number 4 is here, everyone. Then let's look at our tips. This word is... For this one of number four, student, our tip is an act of working together. Oh, working together. Guess what? Guess what? And doing what is up for. Oh, student, guess what? What kind of these word to the crossword number four? Cooperation. Oh, cooperation. All right, very nice. Now, student, let's write down our word of cooperation. On the puzzle or number four, let's write down together. So, cooperation. Now we have C O double O N P E R A T I O N N. All right, have you finished with part of number four? Yes. Yes, and this one of cooperation, we have used this already. Let's cut it out. So, now let's move to the Part of the parcel number six, student. And our tips for number six is an activities for making clothes flap. Wow, what kind of activity that can make in clothes flap? Ironing. Ironing, very nice. Then let's write down the word of ironing is over there with part of the crossword number six. So number six is here, student. Now let's write down together with ironing. Now we have I, R, O, N, I, N, and the last one is G. All right, ironing, like this. And then, ironing, we have used it already. Let's cut it out again. Let's move to part of the parcel number eight. So, number eight is here, everyone, with the across line. And then, let's find out the words. And our tip of number eight is, an exercise that student must do at home, student. Oh, the exercise that the student must do at home is would be... Homework. Homework. Really nice. Then let's write down our word of homework with part of the parcel number eight together. So homework. Now we have H O M E W O R K. Very nice. Then let's cut it out with the word that we have used already. 
keep going to the next part. Oh, now we move to part of the across line with number 10. And number 10, where are you number 10? Number 10 is here. Oh, let's find out the word student. This one is, our tip is a book. Oh, a book in which one records events and experience. Oh, student, a book in each one records events and experience. Diary. Diary. Oh, get work. And then let's write down together with the word diary is over there. Now we have D I A R N Y. Y. Very nice. Oh, now we got diary already. All right, now, student, let's cut it out with part of the word diary. And now we have finished with part of the crossword in the at class part, now we move to the down line. Oh, let's begin with number one. And number one is here, the down line over there. And then our tip is his work to do a habit, to do a habitual action, student. Oh, what is this? Guess what? To do a habitual. Ah, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It would be practice. practice. Very nice. Now let's write down other word practice. Now we have P R A C T I and C we have is already. Let's write down the last word of E. e. The last letter is E. Oh, good on you, student. Then let's cut it out of practice. So now let's move to the next one. And this part of number two. Number two with the dollar is over there. Oh, student. And then our tip for this one is an arrangement to have something for, sorry, an arrangement to have something for you use at a later time. Oh, student, make something for you to use at a later time. What is it? Reservation. Reservation. Very nice. And then let's write down our one of reservation. Now we have R E S Sorry R E S E Sorry E R V A T I And now we have O already Our last letter is letter N N Alright now we have finished with reservation Then let's cut it out again of this so now we move to the next part and this part we are going to fill in our parcel with number three and number three is over there. Oh, let's find out the right word of doing activities that will make you fit and healthy. Oh, what kind of activities that can make you fit and healthy? Exercise. Exercise. Very nice. Then let's write down with part of number three. So exercise. Now we have E, X, E, and R. We have it already. After that, it would be letter C. And letter I, we got it already. Coming up next with letter S. S. And the last one is letter e. e. Very nice, everyone. Then part of exercise. Oh, we have used it already. Let's cut it out. Then keep going to the next part. This part we are going to find out with part of number five over there. And number five is here. Oh, let's find out other word. So these tips of this word number five is to be with someone when doing something. Oh, student, to be with someone. Other, another one. To do with something, doing something. What kind of this word? Guess what? Together. Together. Very nice. So now we got letter T already. Coming up next with letter O. And letter T, we got it already. The next one is letter E. e. And then T, T H, H, E. And the last letter R. We got it already. Good job. Then let's cut it out with this word O. Together. Very nice. So now keep going to the next part, student. And then let's find out with part of number seven. Oh, number seven is here with the down line. So our tip for this one is a details, a detailed statement, student. Guess what? What kind of 
this word that can you that can tell you about the details of anything report report very nice now we got letter r already coming up next with letter e, e and then p. p and letter o we got it already coming up next with letter r, r and the last letter is t. t very nice now we got this one of report good job and then let's cut it out so now oh we move to the last one student and part of number nine number nine is here student all right and then other tips of the words number nine is a short writing oh this one is a short writing about a particular topic oh student a short writing of the particular topic guess what what is it essay essay very nice now let's write down with essay so now we have e double s and then a and the last one is letter oh, y, y so. yes good job so now oh we're done already with part a have you finished yes excellent everyone so now we are going to practice more with part b all right now let's move to part b still then oh and this part of our exercise on part b still then We are going to look at the picture and then we are going to write down our words, student. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, look at the picture number one. Guess what, student? What kind of these words that match to this picture? Cooperation. Cooperation. Now let's write down cooperation together. Now we have letter C, C double O, o P. Then keep going to the picture number two. Look at the girl. What is she doing? Homework. Yes, yeah, she's doing her homework. Then let's write down the word homework. So homework. Now we have letter H O M E W O R K. Excellent. Oh, now we got homework. Then keep going to the picture number three. Wow, let's look at number three over there. Look at them, student. Which word that match to this picture? Together. Yes, together. Now they are doing something together. And then let's write down other word. So together now we have T O G E T H E N R. R. Very nice. All right, now we got this word together. Have you finished? Yes. Oh, good job. Then move to number four. Can you see the small paper on the table over there? Yes. This one is for? Reservation. Yes, reservation. Now let's write out together. Now we have R, E, S, E. Sorry. S, E, R, R, V, A, T, T I, O, N, N. Oh, student, our teacher is look like V. This one is letter R. All right, let's do it again. R E S E. Sorry. R E S E R V A T I O N. And all right, now we got with this word reservation. All right, keep going to the next one. Look at the man over there. Can you see this picture? Oh, now what is he doing? He is, is practice. practice. Very nice. All right, now he is practicing how to do it with a soccer player. Oh, he is a soccer player. Then let's write down our word of practice. So now we have P. R A C T I C E. All right, now we got with this one. Practice. Then let's move to picture of the man. Oh, what is he doing? He is exercising. Yes, he is exercising. Then the word that match to this picture is 
exercise. Let's write down together. Now we have E, e A, C. C. E, A, C, E, R, I, S, E. All right, now we got with this one. Exercise. And now move to the next picture over there. Oh, now this one is write down something. This one is a essay. Essay. Very nice. Now let's write down essay. Now we have E, e double S, 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 A, and the y. Last one, letter Y. All right, now we got with essay. Then let's move to the last pictures over there. And number eight, student, look at this book. How do we call this one? Diary. Diary. Very nice. Then let's write down diary. Now we have D I A R N Y. Y. Very nice. All right. Now we got this one. Diaries already. Have you finished with part B? Yes. Good job. Then we are going to play this one with the next part. Alright students, this part of our exercise, we are going to complete the dialogue by use the sentences over there. But we have to choose the right one that following with our questions and the answers. Alright now, let's check up with number one. So number one, our question is, have you ever lost your way home? Oh student. Have you ever lost your way home? This is the question. And then we are going to find out the, the answers of this part B. Student, let's find out the answer. Which one is the right one? Look at Troy A. Are you the one who walked to the big driver? Oh, it's sentence two. It's not the answer. Then this one, is this correct? No. No. Then let's check up with choice B. So choice B is... Yes, I have. I happen. It happened when I was just a kid. Is this match to this sentence? Yes. Oh, yes, I have. It just happened when I just when I was just a kid. And then everyone, let's choose this sentence of B, and then write down with this answer. All right, let's write out together with other word. Yes, I have. And then it happened when I was just a kid. When I was just And first stop to complete our sentence. So part B, we have used this already. Let's cut it out again. All right, now we move to part of number two. So number two, oh, look at our dialogue. Now part A is missing, still then. And part A is would be the question. After that, our answer is, yes, please. Yes, please help me to carry these books back to the rightly. Oh, our answer is, yes, please help me to carry these books. Let's find out the questions of this part, student. Which one does match to this answer? Let's check up with Choi C. Look at Choi C. Do you need some help with those books? Oh, this question is talking about books too. Is this match to part of the sentence number two? Yes. Very nice, everyone. Choice C is the correct one. Then let's write down the answer of choice C together. Let's write down together with do you need. Next word is some help. Some help. And then read those, read those books. 
Dos. Dos. And then books. books. And don't forget to write down the question mark over there. Books. Oh, it would be books, yes. With those books, all right, and the question mark completes this question. All right, now let's move to part of number three. So the, so the answer of choice C, we have used this already. Let's cut it out. Then the sentence of number three is, are you alone when you ride a house? Are you alone when you ride a house? Oh, they are talking about ride a house, student. Ride a horse, student. So now, Let's find out the right answer of the question with part A. They are talking about the horse. Then, which one is the right one? Let's check out with choice A. Are you the one who moved to big drover? Is this correct? No. No, this one is the question too. Then let's check out with choice D. Yes, I am alone when I ride as horse. Oh, is this talking about horse? Yes. Yes, very nice. Then let's write down this part of choice D with part of number three. Let's write down together. Now we have yes, yes. and then comma. I, I am, am alone. Alone. When? When? I ride that horse. I ride. I ride that horse. And full stop. After that, full stop. And then, I have been practicing. Alright, everyone. And then, you have to write down with the full sentence of choice D. Alright, then, we move to part of number four. So, look at number four. And then we move to part of number four. So number four, we got blank with part of A. And then still then. Let's find out the right one to drawing with part of A. So B say, yes, I'm the one who move it. I need a snake and help to do that. So let's find out the right answer with part of number four. So now we have just one left over there. And this question is, are you the one who moved that big drover? Is this correct one? Yes. Yes, they are talking about who is moved it. And then let's write down this answer of part A, choice A to part A over there. And then let's write down together with, are you, Then the, one the one who moved move who move that big drover. And then question mark. So student, can you remember which part of A you have to use with choice? B and then with part of number two you have to write down with choice C and this part of number three you have to write down in choice D. Alright, don't forget to write down with the full sentence to complete our dialogue over there. And then we are going to part B. Alright, now move to part B. Sorry. So with part B, we are going to look at the picture and then we are going to complete our sentence by use part of the past tense, everyone. So look at number one. This is our example. So part A is the question. This one is what did you do? How? And then the picture. Oh, what did she do? 
she, she paints the artwork and then this part of our answer we have to put some i at the first with the sentence and then complete our sentence with i paint an artwork and then full stop after that we have to write down with i learned some techniques online like this put i at the first of the sentence now let's move to part of number two our our sentence is the same our question is the same what did you do and how so the pictures of part two over there oh what did she do student she rode a bike yes she rode a bike and then this part we have to use with i so you have to write down with i rode a bike and then with this part put i at the beginning and then rode the bike and then full stop read the first sentence all right now move to the next sentence you have to use the pronouns i again with i learn that by using with the full sentence over there and then let's write down together so i learn learn it it by using using training wheels training wheel first all right use this sentence to complete with other word of part b then let's move to picture number three over there Oh, let's look at them. Now what are they doing? They caught some fish and then our question is what did you do and how? Oh, what did you do and how? Then let's write down together by using pronoun I. It begins with I and then cuff. After a that, fit. a fish. This one is for what did you do and then how? We have to write down this sentence by you, I, and then learn. After that, it's it. from my and further. And full stop to complete our sentence. So now we move to the picture number four over there. Oh, can you see the girl here? And then, what did she do? She oh, built, she built a, a snowman. snowman. So this part, we have to use pronoun I again. So you have to write down with I and then build a snowman. Full stop. And then how? It's part of how. You have to write down with I again. I learned this on my own and full stop to complete the sentence all right don't forget to use two sentences with that to making a new sentences with part of the answers all right have you finished with this part of our exercise yes very nice everyone all right now it's end up with part of exercise so but now it's time out student then we have to say goodbye all right student now please stand up let's sing and dance with our last song so this song we call skinaringa and then student please sit 